Welcome to Gear FRQ on. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use your graphing calculator to calculate the average rate of change of a function over an interval. So to start, let me just show you the function we're going to be using, 2 plus e to the cosine x. Here is what the graph of that function looks like. And to find the average rate of change of a function over an interval, you're basically just finding the slope of the secant line that goes through the two endpoints of the interval. So I'm going to exit out of this, and a good way to do this is to use your y variables. So let's say I want the average rate of change of this function between, say, x equals 1 and x equals 2. So what I'm going to need to do here is basically calculate the slope of the secant line uh, that goes between 2 f of 2 and 1 f of 1. All right, so, uh, okay. I'm going to put this in parentheses because I'm going to need to turn it into a fraction. Y variables, first one evaluated at 2 minus the first one evaluated at 1. And then I'm going to divide that by the length of the interval, which I'm going to show you actually 2 minus 1. I know 2 minus 1 is 1, but uh, it might not be that simple just to type that in and then also make sure you put that in parentheses because a lot of graphing calculators if you don't put it in parentheses will just divide by that first number and then subtract uh, which are whatever's after that from the result which is not what you want All right so then I hit enter and then okay the average rate of change of that function between x equals 2 and x equals 1 is about negative 1.0569 and so on All right so that's how you can use the function variables quickly calculate an average rate of change rather than just typing in uh, the same expression over and over and getting values and then subtracting those values and then dividing those values and so on. Uh, oftentimes it's just easier to define the expression as a function and then call that function using the y variables.